We here every Thursday on a Thursday, season four, episode forty six. We're here. One of my voice is obviously not to my left. Mike is to my right, and Tone's at um, Ame, Ame, Amy. Shout out Teddy Santis, you had a fucking crazy lineup this morning. Uh, I had to go to Kith to do release for the off white that no one wanted. Uh, there's possibly six people there in total. Um, and what was that the New Balance release? I definitely Tone's I, still online right now, so. So so Tone, I guess, can give better details next week. To my understanding, is last night at like 10, 11 o'clock before they closed up the shop, like 10 or 15 people were out there. They locked them in for pairs. Uh, told them to come back in the morning. I went this morning at 8. There was probably like 35 people online. I went back after I left Kith at like 9 45, 10 o'clock. And uh, it was around the corner and down to the next corner over. So, like, there was probably like a good 100 people there. Um, if I, uh, the V2 is definitely the one to go for. I definitely think that one's more fire than the yellow lasers. Uh, the V5. But I mean, it's just your preference at that point. But I just like the lighter tone on the shoe. Anyway, so, like, I talked to Tone. And Tone was like, um, they're not letting the 15 people in. They had to call cops. There's, like, people out there. I know there's mad resellers in the front of the line that probably shouldn't have been there. Um, it, it just seemed like one of those situations where it could have been handled a little bit better. But, I mean, people were standing in line, but, you know, it's only going to last for so long when they start seeing people crowd in the front. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised that they didn't give those 15 people, like, the right of way to just go in and get their shit and come back or leave. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, I don't know if I'm getting my pair. They just told me to get in line and like I'm guaranteed. But I'm like, how are you guaranteed if they yeah, didn't take right. your name or yeah. whatever? If they didn't take your name or size, like you ain't guaranteed so for why shit. Why would he get in line? What if they run out of pairs? Then, like, yeah, that's that's O D wild. Like I don't I hope it I hope it works out for him because like he was like there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? He, so he's missing the show too. Missing shout out to John Combe. John Combe was out there. Shout out to Angel. Angel was out there. There was mad motherfuckers out there, actually, like like vintage people that like Because they're that dope typically camp out that we're camping out and i appreciate that there are also a lot of resellers obviously um yeah so let's uh, right. roll into this uh this show is derived from a passion film with people for people who share the same passion uh if you guys want to catch the hype mm -hmm. report every saturday on a saturday haha <laughs> don't can't say shit at around 10 a.m or 10 ish uh for all your relatively hype information that i get to talk shit about and if you'd like to hear mike on hype beast news he's also the host of that uh no i'm not the host of that Who's, who's voicing I that? just do the voiceover. It's the You're voiceover reading. for Hypebeast News. Oh, okay. uh, HBNN, if you will. And Mercedes Benz commercial, too? Uh, that was like a, like a promo thing, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, the voice is, is real. Let's get into this <laughs> week's releases. First off, we got 11.15, which is tomorrow. We're going to skip over the, the New Balance today, obviously. Uh, Nike Freak 1 in a nice gray and black Team Jordan aesthetic. If you will. I mean, they're good. Oh, maybe they're good to play in. Yeah, yeah, Oh, they're nice. Uh, it's definitely like Team Jordan status. Next up, you got Nike LeBron 17 in this uh, red October colorway. These are interesting. These are not interesting at all. Look at the glue. St look at the glue all over the front. Who took this product shot? You should be shot. Wow. You, <laughs> this product you shot. should be shot. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Toe cap. It's really bad. Uh, it's crusty, like the side of your mouth. Yeah, in the just based time. on that picture alone, I wouldn't buy them. Yeah, that's, that, far. that's not good. I don't even like the side panel. Side panel's weird. Like, whatever is going on there is, like, white, or is it, like, crustacean? I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah, uh, next up, you got Nike MX-90 NRG or Moab. Uh, I like them, but, I mean, I don't think I need them. I don't think I need them either, but I think it's, like, a, it's a good look for the Air Max 90 it is nice. aesthetic. I, I'm a little annoyed that knowing that Air Max 90 is next year and they're changing the silhouette, that they're dropping all of these Air Max 90s. Uh, somewhat pre or like you now. The silhouette? Well, they're giving you the OG silhouette next year. Oh, so God, I can't wait because this shit is. Trip, 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 so it's kind of fucked up that they're releasing and like it's been it's been announced. It, like people have been posting it. Like Air Max, everything I believe, uh, posted pictures of the new silhouette and the colorways. Eh, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, whatever. Uh, Woodwood and Adidas Ultra Boost twenty nineteen pass and pass. Work. You agree with that? <laughs> Concur. It's too big. What's that one? Reebok Instapump Fury Boost OG meets OG. I like the OG. Colorway. <laughs> I, I mean, like the, I mean, I want to buy them, but they're fire. I'm definitely not a fan of 
Insta Puff Furies. I don't know, but I don't know. They're really not that bad. I think all small. I mean, everything on small feet is kind of fire. So it doesn't really make a Let's difference. Let's not even talk about the next show. Uh, Travis Scott and Nike Air Force One dropping Saturday. Um, fire. Need. Minus the foreskin. Shout out Ryan Swanger. Need, need. Yeah, definitely, definitely a dope the shoe. Beast here needs them to match everything. They match everything. They definitely do go with a lot of things. Oh, God. Uh, next up, Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 Alien. Um, this is the first I'm hearing of this, so I'm, uh, I'm going to have to see what this looks like. I mean, huh. uh, I like it. I mean, this is definitely like a 3D render, though, it looks like. It doesn't look like the actual shoe. I don't know if I'd wear it. But... It definitely looks like a 3D render, so, like, I'm surprised that, like, they're saying that it's announcing. And does that midsole glow? Because it looks like a glow green. You know, I'm a sucker for that shit. Uh, and it says alien as the title, so maybe it does glow. Who knows? It probably glows in, like, some alien-shaped form on a shoe. Pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, next up, Z... Oh, you want to hear? Uh-huh. Adidas ZX8000. Mm-hmm. These are kind of... I like the colorway. These are not bad. I like them. Continuing on our 30th anniversary of Torsion Technology, uh, ZX, they did, was it six, no, four, five, six, and nine, uh, 8,000, you know, whatever. Uh, if you're into it and you like that vintage aesthetic, cool. Uh, Pusha T and Adidas Oswego, King Push. Like the color of the black and the bolts. Yeah, Black and Bolt is fire, but still not with it. I, I enjoy that they didn't go the whole drug aesthetic again. That's cool. No, I mean the first... I like the fucking product photos. Fire. Yeah, the golden hands. Yeah, it's dope. Are those real hands? Yes. I love gold. <laughs> um, Adidas Young One, Night Jungle, two different colorways. That's cool. These are nice. I can see my mom wearing them. I don't know if that was a joker. You can't see my mom wearing them? I mean, I guess, but... Uh, so my mom got the Puma leopard joints. These are cool. I can see my mom wearing them. Sounds like an underhand kind of <laughs> tone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ghetto Gastro and Air Jordan 1 Low React. Not with it. I mean, this is atrocious. What the fuck? Air Jordan Low React. Absolutely I can not. see the low in the toe and... About it. I don't like the React... I, I feel I like, like the I feel like minus all the extra bullshit, they might actually be pretty dope. Like if there was an actual like if this was actually a low, they took off this like flailing yep. eyelet thing, the tongue, tongue gets clipped, that cool. pull tab yeah. gets clipped. It wouldn't be bad. They would not be bad, but like this is like you're trying way too fucking hard, yo. Like either you got it or you don't, and you don't. It looks so. Christmas colors too, like Yeah, uh, fuck out of here. Um yeah, Air Jordan four one forty. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Tom definitely would say pass. Super trash. Yeah, it would. Next up. Melanie Assigned Air Jordan 1 mid, 130. I didn't really like it at first because I don't like mids, but the, the watch on the front, this shit is fire. I'm not going to hold you. I saw I them in person them. today. Uh, pretty fire. I kind of want them now. They Let's are. See. They are. The leather is very nice. The suede that's on the heel wrap, not so nice. Um, but the rest of the shoe is, is plush. Um, the watch on the girl looks fantastic. I don't think if a guy's wearing it, he needs to watch if you're going to get the shoe. Um, a lot of inspiration on it that I didn't initially see. They look way better in person. So. I want them. Shout outs. Anyone want to help me? Size four and a half. Oh, no, no, not four and a half. Six. Size six in women's. If you want to help me. Probably not. But... <laughs> Probably not. Uh, after thoughts, we're going to move into... Oh, you want to you give me a little... Are you, gonna, are you gonna swing the arms like arms? Do I have to do the same thing as tone or not tone? So what are your what are you, what's your afterthought fucking kick in? I don't know. You just fart? Yeah. No. Afterthought. Afterthoughts. What? <laughs> we what present you, fucking, you. What are you fucking Vanna White? We present, uh, yeah. Fuck out of here. We present you. Uh so best drop of the week last week. We had Olivia Kim, which was super fire, fire. the barrage, Pop Street, uh Nike Air Max Plus Three, and the Gel Fuji Tribuco. Uh, seven I would have won if I wore those. I was going to wear them, too. The Olivia Kim's fire. Yeah, uh, 100%. Right. KB cop. I was a little slow to the draw. Uh, probably still going to try the and cop. Hoop with the Nike check. Wink. Fire. 100%. Fucking uh, the coloring on them. That keychain's going on my key ring. Clean. Uh, I, I think it was a well-executed shoe. I love what Nike's doing Air Force-wise. Like They've really been like hitting the target on these Word. bitches. You got plus 
Uh, the corduroy runs big though, so if you're looking to buy those Olivia Kim, you definitely go down half a size because they're big. Like a half a half a size? Because if I wear a ten and a half, should I do a? If I normally wear a ten and a half in Air Force One, should I do a ten? Huh. Yeah, because they're really big on me. Really? I put the braces in them. Really? I gotta tie them tight to keep them on. I must tie them tight. <laughs> keep it tight, my friend. Um, Word. Keep it tight. What was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, the uh, piece minus one is the next like kind of. Uh, non GRS coming out. They got some metallic shit coming out as quick strikes, like a silver and a gold for women. Uh, fire on the Air Force One, I'm telling you. Um, they really Word. just, they've been putting in the due diligence with the Air Force One market, and I like it a lot. Um, I will say that. Also, who's got one coming out? Uh, uh, Aimant Manier, or is it uh, Social Status? I think it's under Social Status. Social Status has an Air Force One coming out. I think Mayer previewed it on his page. Clean, it's like a black aesthetic. It's got like that. Uh, Social status moniker on the uh, lace lock. Clean, man, clean. They've been killing it. Do you have anything for after thoughts before we get into the comments section? Um, like something coming up, something going out, something you're doing, anything you're not doing, people you want to curse out, anything like that? Oh, there's all the right, all the women, all women event coming up. She steals my shit. Fantastic. <laughs> I, don't got you. I'm, I have nothing I can talk about. Uh, shout out to Extra That's Butter. Perfect. If you guys are chilling on a oh, Friday right. tomorrow... They are doing this. Go try uh, their shake at Milk and Cream Bar. I'm being rude? I mean, a little bit. I mean, I asked you if you had anything, and you say nothing except for the event that I'm hosting. And then uh, the next thing I talk about is actually. You're quarter. hosting that event? I mean, I did help put it together. Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, so extra butter, sweepstakes kind of deal, scratch off tickets at Milk and Cream Bar down on, is it Mott Street? It's Mott yeah. Street, um, south of Delancey, aka Ken Mayer. So you go there, you get the the, the ice cream joint, fire, Bang. crunch a bunch, bunch bunch of crunch, uh, popcorn, yeah, pretzels in there. Bang. It's very good, very Actually, good. Actually, very good. Uh, yeah, so like I, I think when you purchase it, you get a scratch off, and if you win on the scratch off, you get the next six months of releases guaranteed. Ooh, so that's hype releases. Pretty fucking dope. It's fucking dope. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out. I don't have any information other than that to give you guys, but that's definitely a good like an extra butter, like very uh, very inclusive. Type extra butter, yeah, they're very they're very community based oriented, whatever the hell you want to call it. But <laughs> <laughs> they had movie night last night, and they had with milk and cereal bar. They had like a, did you know that? Uh, no, I did not. Well, you must not be on Instagram. You must be too busy. Uh, also, if you guys are into Kith and Disney, Kith Disney oh, this Monday is coming out. I mean, they did this paper thing. Uh, the Kith Soho flagship had a newspaper that they dropped. Uh, on the back of the newspaper, they dropped it like two or three days ago, possibly. And on the back of the newspaper, they had these coupons. Today, they announced that if you had the paper, the coupon is good for a voucher for the plush toys at the Disney store for free. So, Whoa. yeah, I fucked up. I didn't even know about it. People are like, well, why didn't yeah. you tell me? I'm like, I, if I know, I'd be at the fucking Disney store right now doing this shit. I want shit. a plushie. I know, it's kind of fucked up. I need the one with the hat. No, um, no it's, all, like, it's, all, looks, it's a set. It kind of looks like a big yeah, What are you doing? Plushie. What are you doing? It looks like what you, and balls like that. <laughs> I mean, on the camera, you're pointing at my crotch. No, I'm, well, show, show, show the camera what it looks like. It I, does look like that. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. Um, Which Mickey is that? that, that that's Depression Mickey. <laughs> that's Porno Mickey. <laughs> no, it's Depression Mickey. The, no, no, that uh, that's the Train Mickey when he's like the conductor. Yeah, but they, they, if you look far away, the shapes are a little. I mean, it's the hat. It's a plush toy. Why is it round? Is Mickey's hat was round like that? Should have been. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not a good look. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, if you had the, yeah. the 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 joint. It's a whole set, so all they're like little plush toys. They're not big at all. I need one. They, they might be half the size of this cup, the actual plushies. So they, it's cool. One of the kids had it at Ame today because he'd already gone up there and got it. Uh, very, very dope. The clothes, I think uh, it's the first collection in a long while that I really thought he did a really good job on all really the pieces, uh, or they did a really good job on all the pieces. Um, they rounded it out well, just depictions from every single Mickey or Mickey uh, characters from each uh, generation. I think it was it was very well executed. There's a couple items I want, but I will only purchase one. Well, ex yeah, exactly. I'm definitely doing like one piece, maybe. Two. I might get the one with the little sad Mickey on the kids' logo. That's a depression Mickey. Yeah, I need that one, or the Mickey down the, the all different Mickeys. I like that one as well. And I like the one with the, like the 
colored, like the rainbow. Just Monday, of... 30 bags. I know, we got a few pizzas. <laughs> um, I love Mickey Mouse and I love Disney, though, so. Yeah, no, no, I agree. You, you got the Fantasia joint. Yeah, I got the Iceberg Fantasia joint. I mean, that, that was the Fantasia joint. But, but, but was it with Disney or was it with... It was with Iceberg, and Iceberg works with Disney, so who knows. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think this is one of his better collections in a while. Yeah, I will was. say that. I will say that, too. Even the Converse are kind of nice, but I wouldn't wear it like you don't know uh, what was I doing? I was reading you're reading, a, you're reading your comments. Okay, next up we got, let me get to the bottom here. If you are a person named Molly Mall, you got a comment this week. 13 hours ago, hashtag keep it tight. Keep it tight. Tight like a toyga. Recently, Nike announced that they are ending the partnership with Amazon. They are ending their partnership with Amazon. Uh, the latest strategy, strategy leading, into, leading into new CEO John Donahue. Seems like Nike is looking to keep inventory in house. While Amazon is far from a tier from tier zero releases, what are your thoughts on this strategy and how might that impact things down the line with other retailers? They're making so much money off the hype shit. They don't have to make the wax shit anymore to make money. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, <laughs> well, what else you got for that? Is that is that? That's it. I'm thinking about my my beverage. So we get this annoying question. I think it's one of those situations where um, they're keeping track of their inventory by keeping it in-house. Like, there's too many uh, locations where they're not being governed correctly. Like, Amazon with a pair of shoes or whatever the fuck it is can be bought out in bulk. So if you don't have a Nike account and you just go to Amazon you're buying it out, like, you can, you can supply a store through that stock. So I think it's a way of them kind of narrowing down or filtering, like, who's getting product from Nike. Uh, they do that with a lot of stores. They do it with a lot of brands. They, they kind of just, you know, clip them. They're like, all right, well, you know, we don't know where your inventory is going. And if they find out that you're doing some shady shit, they clip you too. So I think this is the way that they clean house. It starts, like, one way with a uh, new CEO, uh, new head of merchandising, new head of marketing, new head of whatever. And then they just start fucking buttoning up all these areas. And I think that's exactly what they're doing right now. Next, T. Travis, one day ago. Keep it tight. I'm always lacing shoes differently depending on the model lace type and never any never do this when it comes to lacing white lace gang. Like, oh, I, mean, I just honestly I feel, feel like lace your shoes how you want. Like I'm not with skipping laces. I mean I used to do that in the nineties or was it the nineties or two thousand? It was the nineties. Was it two thousand? It was the nineties. I don't know about that. Anyways <laughs> Anyways, so um hello. What? I'm listening to you. No, it was the two thousands. Okay. I was skipping laces. I have a picture of me. In I was my... in high school. I mean, they were still skipped in the 2000s, but it started in the 90s. I, would, I don't like when people do like the double lace thing, like on purpose, what they call it. Like, I don't know, it's a little extra. Except for Sakai. Sakai's okay. Sometimes I think it'd be too much, but do what you want. I respect that. Respect the hustle. You know what I'm saying? I swap my laces. I swap. Me too. I swap to different materials. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think like suede laces, denim laces, depending on the sneaker. Laces. It's too much work. I'm too lazy. Leather laces look the best in ones, depending on what leather you're using. If you're using the right leather, shout out Agalit of Italy. Uh, fire. 100% I have a pair of leather laces. I think I paid like 80 bucks for those shits. Wild. But like, they look fire <laughs> in my shattered backboards. I don't give a fuck what you say. I mean, I can't even tell. They're, to be honest. My shattered backboards are actually I never knew they were lace, uh, satin laces. In they're there, not so. satin. They're leather. Well, I never knew that, so. Huh. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, there's definitely some don'ts, though. Uh, the don't is, if you're a dude, a furry lace. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are certain things that you can't do unless it's like a Bumblebee Timberland that calls for that kind of furry fucking lace. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, certain shit you can't do. Um, next up, we got Chester Cogsworth. Uh, here you go. You can read this one. Keep it tight. Kanye and Adidas revealed that his foam runner, called, what the fuck, dubbed the Easy Croc, Will be made completely in the USA and from eco-friendly. I knew that algae. So say what you want about him. Kanye has been very forward-thinking. Do you think we will see eventual move away from traditional materials in the near future across the industry? Green Party Kanye twenty twenty. I was about to say he's running for president. Yeah, he definitely. Yo, I'm. I'll give Kanye's a genius. He's crazy, but he's a genius. Are you gonna answer this? I was waiting for you to talk. Oh, uh, so shout out to New Balance. Also, New Balance is doing a shoe. I think it drops tomorrow uh, with repurposed old materials that they've been using. Uh, so instead of wasting it, they're putting it into a new shoe. I forget the name of it. It's like the PMJ69493 or some shit like that. Anyway, um, 
And it's, a, it's also a 30% recycled midsole that they put this on top of. No shoes are the same, not even the same pair. Have the same material on it. Like, it's all just mixed oh, match. It's pretty dope, and I'm kind of, I'm interested in what they look like. I'm probably going to check them tomorrow. Well, they'll probably look different. It's just the shape. It's the silhouette. Yeah, the silhouette's the same. But I, it's cool that they do stuff like that. I like that idea as long as it's, like, ergonomically correct. Like, I don't want to see, like, the super synthetic shoe yet. Uh, this isn't Blade Runner. I'm not, I'm not trying to be out here like Tron in like a fucking slip-on boot that's just fucking leather or whatever the fuck's in that. <laughs> like, I don't want that yet. It's, 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 it's not my time and I'm not ready ever. for that. But <laughs> at, at the end of the day, I, I think it's more, it's more reasonable to have like sustainable footwear, sustainable clothing, uh, repurposed fucking shit, whatever. Like, all of that makes a lot more sense to me than just... They're probably super comfortable and I wouldn't wear them. Yeah, it just depends on whatever. Like, I, I think if you can wear something and you can pull it off and make it your own, then who gives a shit? You know, like, wear what you like. Like, we say all the time. Like, wear what you like, not like. Uh, next up, we got Joseph Gomez five days ago. Hashtag keep it tight. What's up with Kith Vogue collab? Blah. Word. Uh, what are your top? What are your top brands not to buy in twenty twenty because of the hype? Uh, because the hype is dead and or just overpriced. Uh, Miri, Ame, Mo Supreme. Honestly, I buy whatever piece I like from whatever place I like. I can't say, I'll say to you, I, I haven't fucked with Supreme this entire season, but I do want the bandana logo. What is that look? Steamboat Willie, that was his name. Um, <laughs> That's the hashtag this week. Steamboat Willie? Yeah. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> I, I think like some things uh, fade away and some things come back. I honestly haven't purposely, per, well, I guess purposely, I haven't bought Kith in quite some time. Uh, one's the price, two, like, the direction. But, like I said, the but Mickey's kind of fire. Trash. Huh? Vogue is. I, I, didn't, I didn't think Vogue was that special. I think it was better than the first one. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't like the it's first like, one at all. just him to say he's doing it. I don't understand, like, who's fucking with what? No, well, he's not trying to appeal to street culture anymore, anyway. I mean, my problem with Vogue is, like, what is it? What is it? What, what is it? Are, you, are, you, are you doing it for Vogue? It, but then, like... Are Vogue they, should have more of a say and more of a layout on it. Like, I don't... Like, pa big. parts of those collaborations don't make sense to me because, like, the whole point is to, like, bridge the gap between brands. That's the whole point of a collaboration. But if it's only coming out of Kith and only Kith is promoting it and, like, Vogue is a fashion editorial. So at the end of the day, like, I feel like they would have a bigger role in the role out. Like, it would be in, like, some kind of, like, fashion house or... So, some place where it would make sense to, like, display the product. And it, it just doesn't do that for me. Like, I just, I don't know. It, it just falls short, kind of. The, you know, the quality on the shit is fire. Lord. That's besides the point, though. I just don't know if I agree with... What man is wearing a big jacket that says Vogue across the back? Quite a few. Quite a few. Oh. But, like, that's the other thing, too. Like, even the people that are buying it, the consumer that's buying that product, isn't well-versed in what it is that they're buying, either. Like... The blogs are great, but I feel like they're just not reading them. Yeah, they'll, they'll see kids on someone and they're like, well, it's a good brand. They don't yeah. really know the backstory to it or anything or what it is. Or... Like, the, even the people that buy the shit, like, they know that Vogue is coming. Like, I saw the line. There, there was a decent amount of people at the line for the Vogue stuff. But at the end of the day, I, I don't know. It, just, it doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, half the people that are on that line probably don't even read Vogue or even understand what the editorial is. So, like, to go there and be like, oh, the Miami shit is fire. Like, I get it. You're buying it because it's Kith. But there's something else there, you know? Yeah. Like, just as oh, trash. Ranting on. Uh, what was the other thing that I wanted to mention? There was something else. Huh. Anyway. Uh, let's just... You want to do a sneak about? Tone one, of course. Yo, tone... Uh, wasn't landslide, because I, I just lost by a lot. Yeah, but... I'm going to lose again this week. Listen, if tone was here, I, if I, my, I wore these shoes on purpose to be like, if I don't win this week, this shit is rigged. Well, I can tell you what Tone is wearing for the sneaker battle. Uh, last week, Tone won with a uh, staggering 53%. Kristen came in at a, a, a nearby second at 36%. And I lost horribly at 10%. Fuck Blazers, right? Um, Word. You want to just... You can go since Tone's They're all dirty, but... Tone is wearing Central Park, uh, Ronnie Fike Central Parks today on the Ame line. I'm sure he wore that, you know, in honor of coming out here. Hey. Did he wear them yesterday? Uh, I mean, last week? Oh, fuck, I'm wearing Ronnie Toe. Ronnie Toe. Ronnie Toe. Toe. <laughs> Ronnie Toe. What are you doing, bud? I'm wearing Ronnie Fog Salmon Toes 1.0. If I don't win this week, I'm sorry. You, you, if I don't win you this just, week, fuck you, you guys. You just don't like me. Uh, 
This is gonna be difficult. I'm wearing Yeezy boots. I don't want to take this off. Just pump, put up your foot. Yeah, Just that, I, a picture. I don't know if you know, but my body doesn't move in that direction. And plus, you got overalls on. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sure they can see this. What's overalls. the hashtag again? Uh, Steve Willie. Willie. <laughs> I'm wearing last season's uh, fucking boots. Yeezy. It's cold outside, and I love these fucking things. Wear what you like, you sons of bitches. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna drop this for now. Then I'm gonna read this off. Uh, next week's hashtag is hashtag Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Hashtag Steamboat Willie. If you want to comment or a uh, shout out in next week's show, shout out everybody catching up. Last week's hashtag was keep it tight. Starting off, we got Grenados. Is there a reason why you're standing up like fucking conquistador? <laughs> Uh, Molly Mall, Earl Hunting, T. Travis, Dr. Souls 11, Al B. 2, I'm Gucci, Zach S., David Blackman, uh, Shown Up 808, John Passarella, Joseph Gomez, Jim C215, Brandon R. R. Martin, uh, James Kravitz, oh, shout out uh, 10 January, should be some shit coming soon. Uh, also, shout out St. Got Soul, Tones Giblets, uh, who else am I forgetting? Uh, shout out Ryan Swanger, shout out everybody. Oh, Fucking Colin Kaepernick, you sons of bitches. Shout out Colin Kaepernick this week. Uh, right. Saturday, 3 p.m. at Atlanta. Matt Ryan's shoulder looks like it might be shit. And his ankle's fucked up. But anyway, uh, shout out to, you know, the speculation that Jay-Z helped this scenario. I don't know if you guys are following that kind of stuff. Uh, supposedly Jay-Z kind of facilitated this uh, closed-door workout. Uh, all the teams or coaches are available to come. They're all allowed to be there. There's like a press conference also uh, just to see him work out. So hopefully... You know, that something comes to that. I hope I hope he gets back in the NFL, man. I mean, I'm watching some of these guys that are out here. Like, he kind of, like, set the mold for that run and play option. So, I mean, shout out Colin Kaepernick. So, best Good wishes. Man. Anyway, uh, that's this week's episode. We're out of here. Later. Peace. Shout out fucking Rocket for this fucking dope ass shirt.